Hello, how are you? I'm recording at night time, so you're just going to have to ignore this ring of light on here. This is our new animals lookbook. I've got my girl helping me. Put your hands in, miss. Say hello. So we've got all our um, animals from the ABC lookbook, which is this one that we released last week. Uh, so I've taken all the animals, I've used them here. I've given you another two pages. You can also personalize your front cover as well. So this pack includes this one from the last pack as well as that one. So I've given them to you again, but you don't need to cut them out again. You can if you want to. Um, cutting out's not my favorite thing in the world. And then you've got these two as well. Now I gave you extra animals just so we could have some, um, what have we got? Amphibians, some more fish, crustaceans. Uh, what are these doozies called? We'll cover them in a sec. Insects um, and some different legged animals, arachnids and worms as well. That's a starfish. Yes, I know it's a starfish, but it's called, um, here, look, we'll look it up now. It's a, annelids are the worms. Echidnoderms. There we go. I needed an echidnoderm in the pack. So there is a ton of animals. The really good thing about this, um, they don't fit, like they don't all fit on the page as intended, um, but it allows you to keep having those conversations to keep using different animals each time you do these activities. Yes, so this is probably our biggest pack that we've got, not so much in content, but in the way you can use it. So this page, where do they live, is separated into six different places. So Missy, let's fill out the ocean first. Can we grab, okay. So we've got the sky, then we've got mountains, then we've got the treetops, then we've got the ground, icy land, and then the ocean here. So, so can you put five in each category? I'll start at the bottom. So I'm going to put a seahorse, stingray. Now a yabby doesn't go in the ocean. Yabby's fresh water, but for now he can go there. Um, Does it this go there or there? I put the insects and flying things in the sky up oh, yeah. here. So yes, they do live in the trees, but we'll stick them in the sky for this purpose. I'll put a turtle down here. So I've got five. We've got seals. There's a polar bear. Oh, ostriches can't fly, uh, so can't do No, that. they can go on land, though. Yeah. They don't need to go in the sky. Can you put the bat? You've got the bat in the sky. Now, we've got things like the mole, which go underground. Um, so you can stick him on the ground there. There's also ducks that go on top of the water. Uh, so it doesn't quite fit, so I'll just stick him there. He'll get his feet frozen if he's on ice. A lizard. Oh, that's an iguana. Um, let's go a uh, spider, so an arachnid in the trees there with a koala. Can I stick him in? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do we want to put in the mountains? There's a goat here somewhere. A goat. My mountain goat. Where is he? Can you find him? Uh, here, look. There we go. There's my goat. So my goat goes in the mountains. Yeah? Then we sweep it all off. Uh, for this one, I haven't bothered with Velcro just because it's so interchangeable on each page. Um, you could use Blue Tech if you wanted to. You could, um, yeah, no, I'll leave it at that. Um, I was happy just putting them oh, on and off the pages. Oh, you could put the narwhal on. Oh, I could have. Do you see my narwhal? <laughs> kind of a whale with a unicorn horn. So all right, next page. Oh, thank you. So, Missy, we're going to sort by features. So we've got fur, shell, skin, feathers, and scales. Fur. How yep. much on each one? Hey. Oh, maybe three on each one. Now, my lizard's got scales. My fish have scales. So a shark two. is a fish, whereas orcas or killer whales and dolphins are mammals. And in this case, we'll put them with skin. Uh, my amphibian, my frog, has skin. Hold on, can I... Jellyfish so have skin. They've got an epidermis layer and jelly inside. So I'm just, for the sake of this, going to stick in there. Shell? Where's the shell? Shell. Uh, so a crustacean has a shell on the outside. So does a yabby. And a crab. And I don't know if that's entirely correct. Spiny spiny shell, spiny surface. No, mother, yeah. No, I haven't done feathers yet. I was just going to check the page further. Um, for this as well, there's no, well, there is a right and wrong, but I've not given you an answer key. The purpose of this is not to um, use this as a complete basis for teaching your little ones, but to rather have those discussions, research, look up books, look up Google. Yes, 
the turtle's got a shell as well. Um, so Google the animals, watch your nature shows and find out more. I realized today, I'm sure I was taught that a platypus, hang on, here is a marsupial. It's not. It is a monotreme. Echidnas and platypus are the platypi are the only monotremes. That means a mammal that lays eggs. They don't have a pouch. I thought they did, but Mother they don't. Do we can stick them with fur. Scales? Fish has scales. Shark is a fish. A seahorse is a. I am not entirely sure. I need to check that one. There. Um, and fish. then feathers here. Yep, we got fish. So that'll do. Do you think? Feathers. Yep. Penguin's got feathers. Um, the really interesting thing that we want to have and see with this is the animals that look similar. So say bat and bird, whereas there's there the bat is a mammal and this flamingo. one is the flamingo is a bird. Uh, we'll go on to that in a sec. So I've deliberately put lots of animals that may look similar um, but aren't. Or so that we can have those discussions about their similarities and differences. Now, this is how they move. This one's a really good uh, gross motor one as well, as far as not this activity as such, but um, going through sorting out the animals and then playing and pretending to be a snake and walking like a bear and scuttering like a crab. So actually using your whole body to act out these animals. I'll float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Is that why you put float up there? Can we put the butterfly with fly? No. Our butterflies floating. Uh -huh. Do they really float, Miss? Uh -huh. I was thinking a duck floating. But... Why? Tell me why. <laughs> if you want to put it there, just tell me why. I don't know. I don't oh, know. Like float as water. Yeah, I meant uh... float on top of water. Uh... But do you see we can have those discussions? <laughs> yes? And I just wanted an answer for why instead of no, it's wrong. So yeah, I stuck them there. Um, <laughs> slither, I had for our snake. I get confused. <laughs> it's all right. Scutter for our crab. Walk. Um, you could have other, of course, you could have other describing Walk. words. So um, discussing with your little one what other ones you can find. There's nothing stopping you from getting another A4 sheet of paper, putting it behind in your display folder with your own words, with your own classifications as well. <laughs> what does a turtle do? All Swim? These walk. Yes, they do. <laughs> does a turkey fly? Do you know? They do in, um, no. what's that turkey movie? What movie? Uh, the Thanksgiving turkey movie. The, the cartoon. Oh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, swim, so we'll put our shark there too. Now, the jet propulsion. I looked these two up. A jellyfish and an octopus. Um, they squeeze their body, their muscles together, and that pushes them forward. So climb. there was no other word I could come up with for that the other than climb. jet propulsion. Mother. Yes, climb. Monkey climbs. Koala climbs. This anu, which is a two-toed sloth. sloth. Oh, never mind. This one's got three toes. That's another thing as well. Um, they're cartoon artworks. Yes. So our two-toed sloth does actually have three toes. I know our bee is an insect and has four feet. So just have those discussions as well. Yes. Use other sources um, and use this for those discussions. What crawls, miss? Uh, I could this... not. There's a there's a word for these. Um, galumph. But I didn't want to put galumphing in here. But seals galumph, apparently. So there you go. Is it crawl like that? Yeah, worm kind of crawls, galumphs along. I didn't put hops. We'll put hops over here. Yes, um, crawl, caterpillar. In my um, country, my, my sloth is brown-throated sloth. A brown-throated sloth? Is that in Panama? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Uh, he can walk as well. All right. They can all walk. <laughs> well, yeah, pretty much. I think they can run fast, iguanas, I'm pretty sure. They swim as well. Um, that's Thank another you. thing. You'll get animals that fit into multiple categories. All right, we need to move along. Snake. For this one, let's just go... Oh, legs. 16 legs to start with. Our caterpillar is an insect. It's an insect larvae. So its first three sets of legs um, oh, are proper legs. legs. Then these are called... I think pro legs, I may be wrong. I looked it up today, but I can't remember. I think it was pro legs, something like that. So they're not proper legs, but they're similar to legs. For that reason, yes, it has 16 legs. So generally caterpillars have 16 legs, but it could also go in this one with six proper legs, making Eight it legs. an insect. Uh, crustaceans, no, up there, it's a crustacean. Eight Three, legs was a spider. Six. 
seven, eight. Uh, yeah, again, the artwork, Missy. So they tend to have flippers back here, but they have ten legs. Wait, Arachnids have eight legs. Most Insects. Most of them have four legs. Hey? Most of them have four legs. Yeah, most, most of them have four. four Insects have six legs. It was five. Five? What's got five legs? One, two, three. Oh, all right, a starfish. They're probably not technically legs. Stick him in the middle. The, but the, four the legs? Rest legs. Yeah, well, that is true. Uh, two legs, our bat. Zero legs, uh, No legs. Yep, over here. Snake has no legs. Flip. Purse. Four legs, flippers. So we've got some animals here with flippers. Now there is a difference between flippers and fins. Flippers? Oh, they're fins. Oh, this could be, that's a tail. No, flippers. No, they're fins. Ugh. Oh, hang on, flippers. Yes. Oh, all right, maybe they are because they're not fish. They're not fish. Fish have fins. Yeah, oh, yeah, I suppose they are. All right, go ahead and argue with your child too. Why? Uh, fins. Hey? Why? Arguments are good. You learn stuff. But <laughs> I'm not always right. There you I'm go. Right. So yes, when I did flippers, I was thinking more the animals that moved along on their flippers. Uh, but I suppose these are propelled by their flippers. So but yeah, go why ahead. Why is a shark with no legs? No, oh, he is a fish. He's got fins. Oh. All right. Are we good here? So no, birds would go down here too. No, you forgot the... Uh, they're not legs. legs. They're um, yeah. they're tentacles, no. which are different for legs. Uh, and then when you do this, start to see the um, similarities between the animals. I really love so the dog. So birds will have two legs and two wings. Like, this I is really not a bird. Love the dog. Yeah, the dog's oh, cute. He can go there. Workers. All right, we're going forever, Miss. We got to wipe it all off and go to the next one. Am I talking? No, no, you're fine. Oh, are you talking to? Me? All right, what does it eat? Now <laughs> I've realised I didn't put plants. I put fruits and veggies. So no, yes, this is plants. But I'm hoping you could have some discussions because I've asked, I had a few people ask me about um, what food ones we're doing soon, like getting their kids to eat their fruits and veggies. So maybe by having fruits and veggies here, you can kind of convince your little ones to eat their broccoli like a Miss What here would eat broccoli. Uh, none. <laughs> okay, probably a bad example. What about lettuce? Uh, I reckon none. a platypus would like a lettuce. <laughs> Does he eat meat? Uh, no. I know he's got venom, but I think that's for when he's Wait, in danger. What? They got venom? Yep, in their back flippers. You could have told me. Very that. painful. <laughs> yeah. Herbivore. Hang on. Omnivore. Ducks. They eat cheeseburgers. And I got told off last time for putting ducks in this one instead of this one. <laughs> so dogs, off. cats. Uh, a narwhal. I know. They don't have anything. I don't know what they eat. So I'm going to put a uh, I don't know over here. Um, Don't be afraid to say to your kid, I don't know. Yeah? Um, Here, we'll stick it down there. So we can look up these ones later. Uh, I think they eat that. Trash pandas. Um, sorry, a raccoon. They're omnivores. This is a carnival. We like Marvel here. For what? anyone. Gal Guardians of... No, wrong movie. Guardians of the Guardians Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. It Rocket. is that. Yeah, yeah. Rocket. All right. Rocket. Next one. <laughs> Quick. Sorry. All right. What am I? Now, this one gets tricky. I might actually do a part two of this because I'm already at 13 minutes. I'll do a part two and come back to this one. Hang on a sec. Sorry, the part